There aren't any palm trees. Not bad at all. And certainly no big waves. Hey, I may start a new guide service doing this. But that doesn't mean paddle boarding on a river for the very first time will be any less fun. Hey baby, let's go fishing. I'm ready. Catch some trout. I'll try just about anything once if it helps me catch fish, even if it makes me feel like a rookie. Pretty stable. Regular fishing be easy. I think trying out the fish will be next. Setting the hook. You don't want to set the hook too hard. <laughs> That's going to be the interesting thing. Lucky for me, even at my age, I can mostly keep my balance. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. I always look forward to fishing no matter how I'm doing it. This is definitely a minimalist way to go fishing. Today I'm paddle boarding on the Caney Fork with my friend Scott Smith, who likes to fish for trout his own way from a kayak. I really enjoyed kind of the stealthier approach that comes with the kayak, kind of be able to kind of sneak up on the fish. Um, you're more ground level with them too, you know, it's a little more personal, so. I enjoy it. Fishing from a kayak is one thing, but fly casting from a paddle board is teaching me some pretty quick lessons. Look at how this little guy's turning the turning the board. Go that way. Pull me that way. Feisty little guy this morning. Scott and I have found a nice spot. Any luck yet? I had that one bump. Ah! Oh, he got off, imagine that. <laughs> hey Chris, I got, I got one. Oh, do you? Good. I haven't fished this part of the Caney lately, but I'm getting some good <laughs> action. Me. It looks like I've got an audience too. Maybe he recognizes nuts. And he sees that I'm the big nut. I think we have a brookie. We do. It doesn't take long to get comfortable on the paddle board and find a good casting rhythm. You know, I could see bringing my kids to do something like this, my wife. I don't think I'd use a paddle board for a serious fishing tool so much, but it's a great way to get exercise and fish and have fun at the same time. It's a great crossover. They're very stable, uh, and it's one of those things, the more you use the board, the more you get used to standing on that kind of um, you know, platform that is not like dry land. It definitely has a little bit of wobble to it, but. Um, it's, it's, they're a lot of fun. You also have to watch out for shallow water. <laughs> wow. I thought that was intentional. <laughs> oh, Lord. Did your fin cook a rock? Uh, yeah, the <laughs> fin caught a rock. Oh, man, that was so close. A close call that did not go unnoticed by other anglers, who don't seem as anxious to try out this new way of fishing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but uh, I'm probably a little too old still for that, that sort of thing. Yeah. Kind of like Chris. Yeah. <laughs> old and stiff, yeah. There is the edge of the gravel okay. bar. Don't strip. Because at any point you can set the hook. Now lift up and over. Good. Now flip that slack back. Keep your rod back. Did you get him? Yeah. Teaching the Good. finer points of casting to Scott reminds me of how much I love fishing this river. I think it's a little brookie. Yeah, brookies shake their head and they fight you to the very end. Beautiful. Time to climb back on the paddleboard for a little more fun. Keep your feet planted. Keep your center of gravity. Don't lean forward, don't lean back. Not too bad. You know, I think I've even made a believer out of Scott. You know, I think it, it's, it looks very enjoyable. It looks like a lot of fun. It'd be a fun way to kind of see different parts of the river and do a lot of different things. You know, anytime I'm sight fishing, that's why I think I would enjoy it. It's just, being able to come up on the fish real quiet and be able to look out, look down on them, it'd be a lot of fun. Fun with friends is always special, but paddle boarding while fly casting the Caney Fork is one day I'll always remember. I'm Chris Nishan on the wild side.